Come here. What you doing? What y'all doing? Come a little closer. And I'm going to go into my tan sand and mix tan sand in with this baby. Just to give me a little more pop. A little bit of boop -a, boop -a. Give me some boop -a. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Naturally, me Dion here again with another tutorial. Now, in this video today, girls, it's gonna be kind of more so simple and in this video i'm going to give you guys like a natural smoky eye with a little bit of brown you know just a little bit of something that is kind of like natural give you that winter time because we all coming into fall so and you know that that is my favorite time of the year so i decided that well, i will wear rock fall colors anytime I would rock fall color so I just decided that I wanted to do something I really never did like give you that smoky brownish you know that's that oh my god I can't explain what I'm going through right now with what I want to do so I wanted to give you guys that look you know that like smoky chocolate natural look and that's what I'm going to give you guys today. Now, right off the back, I'm going to be using my MAC Cosmetics. And this is the brow pencil. And I'm just going to go ahead and start shaping up my brows or whatnot. And I have a different brow routine now because I don't... I hate taking long on my brows. Like doing your brows it takes time i don't like taking all day on my brows anymore it's like when i'm constantly doing it sometimes i can i redo it and all that i'm just going right into it and if you guys look at it and say like well how's she doing it with her glasses on Child, that's the only way I can see, girl. That's the only way I can see, girl. That's the only way I can really just see and get through. Because without my glasses, it'll take forever to really get it the way I want it. So, let's try a new method with my glasses on. Because everything else I can do without my glasses. Just this part. I have a hard time. So guys, I will come back to you guys when I'm done with my brows. So now that I've gotten done with my brows, I did something really weird today because I wanted to get myself like that natural look. And a lot of times I don't like that white cast under there because sometimes you just don't need that. Even though some it's okay, but Sometimes I just really hate that white cast under there. So I decided to use the Juvia's Place. Um, and I actually used the number five to contour with. It's actually darker than me. So I did have to mix it in with a little the, um, the Deep Honey from um, Tarte. And they went really good and it dried so quickly. And I'm, I'm really happy about that. But I like the natural look of my brows. It looks like. I can just go out the house like this, girl. But we both know that ain't finna happen. So, however, girl, I'm just gonna go back in with my brow blade from, um, what is this? Urban Decay. And I love the brow blade. The thing is, I break these things so quickly because I'm really rough when I'm doing my brows like I am so rough and I will break them quickly I hate that like I wish that they can make brow like the pencils or like I wish they can make them a little bit thicker you know 
bulkier so you know you can get the most use the most use out of them and you can pretty much get what you want it to do so now what i'm gonna do girl i'm gonna go ahead and dive into my Too faced um primer okay and this is my peachy primer from Too Faced and you can go to your local Sephora and scoop this boy up. I really like this because it helps cover up the pores. Whenever you're using a primer, it helps you to, you know, cover, you know, any kind of, you know, issues you have going on underneath that foundation for us in large pores. It helps put a shield around it and it also helps to keep the foundation on longer. So if you guys don't know that, that is a little secret that you can use and I honestly feel like the more you use if it's not mattifying and I think this one is mattifying the better it works so I'm just gonna rub this into my skin and you can even use a brush and most of the time I like using brushes but today I decided I want to do it this way I think I like this way better because I can really feel the smoothness the smoothness into my skin Skin, like and I would just tap it in like so now if you really want to be sexy go ahead and grab the Too Faced um, this is actually the mattify setting spray and you can this is before and after your makeup if you like spray it I really like using it after my makeup before I put my makeup on because it gives you this white residue that you just can't get rid of. Like, put these spots in your face. So, right now, at this time, I'm just going to go in and tap that product in there so that I won't look crazy. <laughs> look like a powder puff bunny, you know. I ain't about to got time for that right now. I'm just going to tap that in. And now, I'm going to grab a palette that I want to use today to give you guys that fine look. And you know one of my favorite palettes that I really enjoy using, Be Perfect Cosmetics, and this is my Carnival palette. I really enjoy this palette, girls. Thank you so much. Okay, so anyway, let me open this palette up. If you guys see, it looks like this, and I'm gonna pretty much dive into for sure these browns and this black here. So I'm definitely gonna dive into this black here, and this black is called Lights Out. Okay, let's go into Lights Out, and what I'm gonna do is take that color and kind of like tap it uh right here in the corner but before i do that guys as always i forget to apply uh eyeshadow primer because eyeshadow primer is always needed whenever you're doing you know any kind of crazy looks or use uh, i'm gonna use the mac no not the mac lord the morphe um concealer you can also use a concealer to make that product pigment too so I'm just gonna grab that and go in there like so then I'm gonna take a brush I suppose and just tap it in there and I'm gonna try to keep it in the areas that I'm gonna be applying the shadows but sometimes I can kind of go overboard and kind of put it in other places and you really just need to keep it in one place so I'm just gonna tap that in like so and I'm just gonna leave it like that because that is okay okay that is okay it's not overboard it's gonna dry really fast so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side and as you guys see a little bit can go a long way and you kind of just want to apply this to the areas that you're gonna apply shadows especially if you want to use lighter colors it's good to use like a white to make it pop just a little bit okay so now we're gonna dive into lights out okay and I'm gonna go I'm gonna tap it in the corner so I'm just maneuvering come here come here what you doing what y'all doing? Come a little closer. Anyway, <laughs> come here. So I'm just gonna tap this in like so. The 
back. I'm definitely going to grab another color because I want to help that color dispute itself. So I'm definitely going to dive in like a darker brown and kind of just like pat it within this area and kind of dispute it, help dispute that color. that's how she's looking looking weird and looking crazy so i'm going in with a clean brush and kind of just make sure everything is kind of like blended in okay now what i'm gonna do is prepare to go for that cutting of the crease now you know that is my favorite part I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna dive into this pretty brown here. I'm gonna dive into this color. So now what I'm gonna do guys is definitely, I think I wanna go into like this, I want like this glitter. I'm, I'm obsessed with glitters. I'm obsessed with glitters. So I kind of want like this chocolate glitter like there. Like I really want chocolate. So I am going into my Anastasia palette and I'm going into this. Ooh, I'm just all over the place. Like I really want this goldish color. It is so pretty. And you go, girl, you already know I'm thinking about putting this thing all over my lid. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to tap it in. I'm done with these eyes, girl, for now, okay? So now let's see what foundation that is going to be perfect for this look. So I think I want to use my Chanel, but I ain't. I'm going to go into, well, I'm going to go into my Becca since I'm almost through with it. It's hitting, and I'm almost done. I'm almost done with this Becca, I tell you, like, I run out of foundation so so quick <laughs> I am pumping 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 but I ain't throwing her away until she just so I can't see anything in there so I'm just gonna go on a tapping motion I love using the Belka foundation because it lays on so flawless. It gives me a very nice look. It blends so well into my skin. It's full coverage, dries very quick. It's nice. Belka is one of my faves. I was thinking about trying more foundation like Fendi Beauty, but I don't think I'm quite into that brand. Um, because I've tried, I like her um, setting powder, but I haven't tried 
the foundation fully because I couldn't when I tried to get Fendi for the first time I couldn't find my shade and it optimized on my skin and I didn't like that because I kind of want to stay the same color throughout the day so I am interested in Fendi but I have to find my shade so if you guys have an idea um what I can use see see I told y'all some product in here you know um what shade I should get in Fendi let me know um because I wouldn't mind using it but anything that is difficult for me to find my shade I'm not gonna really buy into it you know what I'm saying because I I like to go in the store, find my shade, and get out. And I don't want to like something and can't find my shade in it. It's going to drive me nuts. See how flawless um, Becca foundation have my skin. It's just it's beautiful. Skin is already nice. My damn cosmetics. Hello. How are you? <laughs> yes, girl. She is making miracles with this skin, girl. So I've been lately putting a little foundation on my lips because it makes my lipstick stay on longer. So I'm going to drag this down towards my neck. Some people be like, I don't want to look like I got foundation on. I want you to know I got foundation on. And underneath this foundation, it is flawless, flawless skin. Okay, so. All right. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, look at me. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is dive into my Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm just going to apply underneath here and underneath here. And I'm going to go into my tan sand and mix tan sand in with this baby just to give me a little more pop a little bit of boop -pa, boop -pa. give me some boop -pa. <laughs> boop <-pa. laughs> what is a boop -pa? what is that so i'm gonna dive in no i'm not i'm gonna grab my brush here and i'm gonna just tap this product in i think i should hit my nose first because it dries really quick It's better, not bitter. This is the Beauty Bakery. And I'm going to dive in this color here. This is the... I don't know what color this is. Um, but this banana powder to me. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to dab my brush. Well, my sponge in there like so. Get a nice generous amount. And I'm going to go in there and kind of... Go in there again. I like this one because it's really smooth. So that's how it looking, girl. Who say you gotta be cute every time you be baking, girl? Who say you gotta be cute every time you be baking? Now this is the powder that I use from Beauty Bakery. Better than better, not better. Okay, so if you guys are interested in getting this, you can go get this at your local Sephora. Nope, or to Beauty. Ulta. 
So now we're gonna work with underneath this, I'm gonna definitely put in some color there. So I'm gonna use the brush with the brown in there and I'm just gonna go in like so. Not much, not do not, I not do nothing much. I not do nothing much. So underneath my eyes, I wanted to pop a little bit, so I'm gonna put a pop of white under there. Guys, I have to tell you this. This is the duo um, eyelash glue, and I hate it. It's like it's sticky. It's like it never freaking dry up. I do not like this one. I normally like duo, but I don't like this one. It is so sticky, and I did buy this from Macy's. I... I I don't know what it is about this one here, but I do not like it. See, it's so sticky and it builds up and it's like if you still touch your lashes or rub your lashes, it's so sticky. I don't like it. And I don't think I'll buy it again, but I did buy four of them. So it, it just sticks on to everything. But it just... Oh my goodness, I don't like it. So I did jump into one of my fave lipsticks by Kevin D. And this is... I gotta put my glasses on. I don't know. But it's the new one. So, let's go line this lips one more time. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, so... Am I missing something? I don't think so. So I really do like this look. I hope you guys like it as well. Um, if you guys want to know the products that was used in video, comment down below. And also look in the description box. I feel like I'm missing. I really want my... Even though I don't have to do this trick, I'm definitely going to do it. I'm definitely going to do it. I need my moles, girl. I need me some moles on there. why when I do moles I feel so complete so guys if you guys like this look let me know in the comment section below so I can know what you guys like to see so I can continue to bring you more Thank you so much for watching my channel and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, don't forget to push the subscribe button, okay? Now, you can do that two ways. You can push that red button there that says subscribe or you guys can even push, you know, at the end where it says, where you see that round face of me over there looking like a monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, I'm a sexy deer. <laughs> And that's what I'm going for for Halloween this year, girl. So y'all best to stay too, okay? So anyway, you can subscribe that way by picking, pushing that circle with my face on there at the end of the video. I think it's gonna be towards the left, and then that video, that playlist video, is gonna be to the right. So if you guys want. Just go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I want you to because I want to see more of you and I want to bring you guys nice tutorials, easy tutorials. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I really enjoy making this video with you guys today and I hope to see you again. I love you. My father love you more. Be blessed guys and keep your mind on the prize. Focus on him and keep your faith 
Keep pushing. Believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. Let's go to the next level, people. And also, guys, down in the description box is my cosmetic line. You can also look there or check the link or go to it, you know, because I don't, I've been trying to put the link down there, but I've been having issues. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, also, you guys can um, go to my Instagram channel. Now, on the Instagram channel, on my Instagram page, you can see the link and actually shop there too. So I can't wait to see you guys and check out Madame Cosmetics Natural Products Hyperallergenic. If you know anyone that has sensitive skin and been trying to work with any kind of acne, any kind of prone uh, breakouts, anything eczema, anything, my products are all good for that. So you guys let them know. Take the link to them, send the link to them, share it with your friends, and I'll be glad and you'll be helping me much, much, much. Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Please.